Hello friends, this video on mechanical properties of fluids part 24 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos from part 1 to part 23 before going ahead with part 24. We will study Magnus effect. As I told you, dynamic lift is observed in aeroplanes and dynamic lift is also observed in case of spinning wall. This dynamic lift by virtue of spinning is known as Magnus effect. So Magnus effect is also the same thing as that of dynamic lift just that it is a special name which is given to dynamic lift which occurs by virtue of spinning. So the example of spinning ball which we will consider will come under the name of Magnus effect. Now let us consider the scenario of a ball. First we will consider a ball which is not spinning and then we will consider a ball which is spinning. And we will note the difference between the two. So let us consider the first scenario wherein a ball is not spinning, it is only moving in air. So in this case what happens? You, you have seen clearly that the ball did not spin, it just moved in air. So in this case what happens is the velocity of air above and below the ball are same. Since the ball is just moving, therefore the velocity of air above the ball and below the ball, above the ball and below the ball, the velocity of air remains the same. Therefore, the pressure difference is zero. Since the velocity of air above and below is same, so velocity is same means the pressure difference is zero because the pressure will also be same both upward and downward. So there is no upward or downward force. Therefore, there is no dynamic lift. So what happens in this case? Velocity above and below are same. So velocity above and below are same. Therefore, the pressure difference is equal to zero. Therefore, force acting on it is zero. Therefore, no dynamic lift is observed in case of a ball which is not spinning. On the other hand, now let us consider a ball which is moving in air as well as spinning. In this case what happens, the, when the ball spins, the way it is spinning here, the ball along with its spin, it drags the air above it. Therefore, the velocity of air above the ball is more than the velocity of air below the ball. Are you trying to understand what I am trying to say? When the ball is spinning, it is also dragging the air above it. So, Due to the spin of the ball, the velocity of the air above the ball is greater than the velocity below. That means velocity above is greater than the velocity below the ball. Now due to this difference in velocities, there is a pressure difference. That means the pressure is more below. Therefore, pressure below is more right it is very similar to how we do that concept where area is cross sectional area is less means velocity is more that means pressure is more so here also the velocity above is more cross sectional area is less means the velocity is more so even in this case the velocity of air above is more Therefore, the pressure below is more and due to this pressure difference, due to pressure difference, due to this pressure difference, there is an upward force and this upward force is nothing but dynamic lift, right? So, what did we observe? What is the, what difference did we observe? In case of a ball which is just moving and a ball which is spinning. For a ball which is just moving, the velocity of air above and below the ball are same. Therefore, there is no pressure difference. As a result, there is no net force which is acting on the ball. So, no dynamic lift. Whereas, in case of a ball which is spinning, 
The ball is dragging the air above it along with it. Therefore, the velocity of air above the ball is more than the velocity of air below the ball. As a result, there is a pressure difference and due to this pressure difference, there is a net upward force which acts on the ball and this upward force is nothing but the dynamic lift. So the dynamic lift by virtue of spinning is known as Magnus effect. So diagrammatically we can represent it as something like this. For a ball which is not spinning, we can say that the movement of air is somewhat like this. It is same below and above. Whereas in case of a ball which is spinning along with its movement, in that case the velocity of the air above is more when compared to the velocity of the air below. Now, Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.